Hey guys, it's Shane, Culture Hacking. Uh, let's talk this week about the idea of mentoring. It seems everyone kind of knows the benefits of mentoring, but I want to talk today specifically to you owners and executives out there. Listen, I've talked before, when an employee comes on new to the company or when an employee shifts into being a manager, mentoring has a lot of benefits. And I get to see a lot of organizations that have that sort of program in place. What I don't see is the type of mentoring for executives, owners, even seasoned managers that have kind of been there, done that. Listen, I've had my mentors throughout my career and I find the ones that have been most important and most critical were actually the ones when I thought I knew it all. And you see, that's the first benefit. As executives and owners, we get caught up in our own minds. We think we know it all. We need someone that can kind of give us perspectives, give us different points of view. And this is really where the first benefit of that mentor comes in. The other benefits for as senior executives or owners and having a mentor is that having someone to just listen to, a sounding board to uh, push those big decisions off to, someone who doesn't have that sort of insider bias or interest in the decision is always very beneficial. And let's face it, one advantage is if they've got uh, some networking and that behind them, they've got some relationships, you can often take advantage of it. So listen, some good stuff there, I think you get it. But what about when it comes to picking that mentor? Because I think this is where people sometimes Times can make some mistakes. So here are my sort of top tips in terms of getting that mentor. First of all, don't pick a family and friends, okay? Listen, one of the advantages of a mentor is that they've got to be able to tell you the truth even when you don't want to hear it, hear it or when maybe it hurts. So get the family and friends out of the way. The second thing, you want to pick a mentor that's got that been there, done that experience. So don't necessarily pick someone at your own level. Pick someone that's got some experience or has got something in business that you aspire to or can see that it will be valuable to you. Remember, you can move your mentors as much as you need to. As life changes, so can your mentors. The other thing that I think is important when looking at a mentor, make sure it's someone you can respect. Here's the thing, you're meant to be able to listen to these people. You're going to have to listen to them. If you don't respect them, you don't listen, and that's where that whole mentoring relationship falls down. So make sure they do things the right way or have a history, because a big thing that a mentor can help you with is guide you on how to do business, just not what you do. One of the things to keep in mind is they don't have to be in the same industry. You're not necessarily looking for an apples to apples comparison. What you want to be able to do, and this is where I think there is an opportunity, is outside the industry, in companies and businesses that are aspiring to do bigger and greater things. The most important thing to keep in mind is that when you're picking your mentor, be very upfront with them. Tell them what your needs are, tell them what your goals are. Make sure that they can deliver on it. It's like an interview process. Before you make anything formal, make sure they can answer some questions. Make sure you feel good listening to them. And most importantly, when they give you those first pieces of advice, make sure they make sense. Listen, I've met a lot of people that offer being, offered me to be a mentor. Um, I think the thing to remember is that just because someone says they want to be your mentor doesn't mean they have to be your mentor. Again, keep that in the back of your mind. You've got to get the right person if you're really focused in on getting to the right place in your career. So hopefully that helps this week. Think about the mentoring programs. Listen, they've got lots of great benefits. If you don't have a mentor, think about getting it in place. And as I said, follow my five top tips and you'll get the best possible mentor for you. Cheers. See you guys soon.